Hi there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz, and today I wanted to share with you how to wear a black trench coat for the spring. So normally, uh, the camel color, the tan, the beiges, and even some of the colored trenches remain pretty popular through the spring, and even in the summer if you're in a cooler climate. And I don't see the black uh, trench coats that much, but sometimes you need to style a black trench coat. So I have several great looks to share with you. If you are interested to see how to style and wear a black trench coat for spring and some tips along the way, then just keep watching. And today I will be styling four of my favorite black trench coats. So you may have a trench coat similar, or you may be in the market for a black one, and this will give you a lot of great uh, ideas and inspiration. And then of course I'll sprinkle in tips along the way. So for the first trench coat I'll be styling is actually a newer one that I picked up this year from Banana Republic, and it is this uh, cropped black trench coat that I am loving. So it does give a more casual vibe and it is perfect for spring when you're wearing, you know, bigger pants or you want a more laid back look. So for the first outfit and how I've been wearing it is with my wide leg jeans and a white tank top. And then I uh, like to just pop on a belt to kind of mix in the color and paired this with some white sneakers for a casual look. And I think this is a stylish weekender look. Um, you know, if you're gonna go walk around a town or a city or go shopping and need to be comfortable, but also wanna be stylish, this is a great way to wear a coat, a trench coat and um, you know, you still have kind of that light vibe with the medium wash denim and a bright white tank top and the black trench coat just tops it off perfectly. And because this is a spring look, I decided to go with my big yellow bag, which I, I've just been having fun styling this spring um, since big bags are in. And it gives a, a little bit of, you know, that spring pop of color. And then the outfit is pretty uh, classic and timeless colors with just the denim, the white, and the black. And I think this is an elevated and casual look. And for the second look, um, I incorporated one of my favorite pieces uh, for 2023, the long denim skirt. I have been loving <laughs> styling a long denim skirt. And I actually recently did a denim haul review um, where I got in several skirts and give my thoughts on them. So if you are in the market for a long denim skirt or interested in that, I'll, I'll link that video up here as well. And so this is my outfit of the day as well. So I paired the, uh, this one's kind of a light to medium wash long denim skirt with some black slides, a black belt, and then to keep it springy, I have a pink cashmere tank top and then the black cropped trench coat just tops it off so well. Then uh, just pair that with a small, you know, easy carry purse. And this is a great spring look that incorporates some black and your trench coat. So a great everyday spring look that is also comfortable, cool, and stylish. And for look number three with the cropped black trench coat, uh, I wanted to do a dressier look. So whether you have maybe a baby shower or a birthday party or maybe needed to go into the office, I think that this is a great spring look. So I went with white. Uh, these are actually old pants. Uh, so they were called straight leg, but they could be wide leg nowadays. <laughs> so uh, a, your favorite white trouser, a white tank top. So that is the base layer. And then I went for a black skinny belt and black uh, stra strappy heeled uh, shoes. It does look a little dressier, but if you were just going to a casual dinner or brunch, uh, you would just look nicely dressed. And so I think that this is 
a great way to wear a more casual piece in the spring a little bit elevated. Then on to trench coat number two. It, I will be styling this beautiful black trench coat that I picked up on the ban Banana Factory or Banana Republic Factory sale. So I think originally this was $200, maybe a little bit more. I think I got this for $60 or $70. Um, and you know, that is, in the spring is a great time to keep your eye out if you are wanting a trench coat or wanting to expand your collection because it is the best time to pick up a piece, an additional piece that maybe you've been eyeing at such a great price. And so I'm really happy that uh, I was able to uh, get this one. I picked it up in a small tall because a lot of the trench coats uh, nowadays or these days or recently <laughs> are a little bit oversized in look. So one, because you know traditionally they are used for layering and that is more of the trend now. So what I will do is just size down in uh, a style that I like and that has worked perfectly fine for me. Um, especially where I live, I don't necessarily use the trench coat for its purpose <laughs> of keeping me you know, super warm and dry. Uh, I live in a pretty moderate climate. I actually do use it more for style, but um, you know, on the cooler days, I definitely reach for it as my, you know, number one choice for covering up or third layer or a little extra warmth because it can elevate any outfit. I mean, you can literally wear a sweatsuit <laughs> and throw on a trench coat, and you know, you already look more stylish. So, it is a great piece to have if you do not have one in your collection. So for look number one with the black trench coat with the uh, brown accent, I went with a classic look and this look can actually go under any trench coat. So this is a great uh, combination for spring in general and you could wear it under any trench coat that you had, whether it was black or brown or camel or a colored one. Um, and that is a light wash denim of your, cho of your choice, whatever denim you are loving or looks great on you. I personally love the bootcut denim and have for a long time, still do. And so that is my you know, number one go-to choice. And then just a white V-neck tee. And in this look, kept it as simple as could be with no belt and nude strappy sandals. So this is a great look that I would wear just on a normal day if you were, you know, gonna go run errands or going out with your friends or just any regular normal day because the outfit is, you know, totally spring-like and then you have that dark trench coat over as the, you know, third layer and it just looks so chic, uh, so stylish, uh, just makes the whole outfit look a little more sophisticated. So, you know, on its own, it's a great casual uh, outfit, but the trench coat really makes this one. And just to dress it up a little, this isn't included as another look, but um, I had to throw it in there because this is another common way that I would style this exact same outfit. And that is merely, so, you know, the first look I would wear maybe in the daytime, but then if I was going to an event in the evening and wanted to still look casual, but just a little dressier, I would add a black belt and black pumps. And I think the outfit, you could tell, it just looks more stylish, a little more elevated. Both ways are great and would work day or evening, but I think the extra touches of black in the lighter colored uh, outfit really uh, make the black kind of pop and it just looks so stylish together. And now we're on to look number five. And this is another one I've been loving. It is so casual, but again, the trench coat just elevates the whole outfit. And I will say it is easier to kind of incorporate the neutrals and earth tones because this particular jacket does have the brown accent. 
So it kind of pulls it all together a little bit. And I mean, I love that little accent piece too because it's not just an all black trench coat, which so makes it a little more special, a little more unique, but still, you know, it's super classic. There's nothing, you know, too trendy on it. And I just think that this trench coat, you know, will be a great piece for years and years. And so for this look, I popped on my linen pants and a kind of gold tinted uh, tank that I actually got from Lily Silk. It's still a really cute uh, piece, but I think I, I think it accidentally went through the wash and <laughs> it's not quite the same, but it I kind of am using it more as just like a tan or brown, like a neutral. It's It doesn't have as much shine as it used to. Uh, unfortunately, I think I ruined it a little bit, but I still love it. Uh, I used to wear the heck out of it and you know it got mixed into the laundry and that's a bummer when that happens, but it does sometimes. And so for this look, I was going for an kind of a monochrome. So I think we're, we're doing all the shades of, you know, tan or, or, you know, light brown with the lighter brown top, the lighter brown pants, and then paired that with a faux suede loafer and then uh, popped on a straw and cream colored bag just to kind of keep the springy casual vibe. And you can see that the whole outfit underneath is very casual. I mean, if you were just wearing that outfit, you could be going poolside or to the beach, something very casual. But if you just pop on that trench, then it elevates it and you could be going to brunch or you could be going to a party. Um, so it really does make the difference and I don't think you'd get the same look if you were just doing a camel colored uh, trench coat, which I, I do love that color and we'll be doing a video on that, styling those as well. I have a, a ton in a, a lot of different shades. So be sure to subscribe if you're interested to get notified when I do that video. And on to outfit six. So for this look, I wanted to do a little more professional or elevated look. So I went with some beautiful brown trousers that I got from uh, Reformation and they do have the pleating, but it, it just lays really nice. They are a tad long. I haven't had a chance to get them uh, hemmed up yet. I think I got them earlier this year or end of last year but um, I absolutely love them. I've been wearing them and I just wear them with heels. So uh, paired these with some point toe slingbacks that I believe I got from Zara and they're almost in the same tone. So really elongating the bottom half and then popped on a lace V-neck top that I've had for ages, but you could pair a satin cami or a bodysuit or you know your favorite black top and achieve the same look uh, put a black belt on with a cute little structured black purse and I love black and brown together anyways and I I just think that this is a uh, it, it does seem a little professional to me but then kind of the lace tank top keeps it a little more casual. So this one could go either way. I think just depending on your accessories and where you're going, but certainly looks classy and timeless. And I love this outfit with this black and brown trench coat. All right, and next up, the third trench coat I will be styling is an oldie but a goodie in my closet. So this is an old uh, bla all black trench coat uh, from Calvin Klein that I got ages ago, um, at least 20 years ago. Uh, I've had it, it has to be one of, one of my oldest trench coats and it still looks perfect. I still wear it, I love it. it is waterproof and beautiful and um, just such a great piece. So for look number seven, I wanted to incorporate this beautiful pink uh, polo shirt. So I love polo shirts for the spring and I just think they give kind of a, a relaxed beachy or kind of golf pro vibe. <laughs> I'm not sure what vibe it gives, but it gives me an elevated vibe and it's so easy. 
you know, the, the classic crisp white V-neck and then a beautifully, uh, you know, colored and, and classic polo, you, you can't go wrong. I mean, you could pair it with any shorts, any jeans, and it looks great. So today I wanted to style some linen trousers that I had and this pink polo. And what made me choose this one out of my closet was, you know, it went with the trousers and it gives that spring vibe, right? Like this pink shirt and those beige trousers together are a great look for spring. But this in particular has this navy detail. And unless you're really close, you can't really tell if it's navy or black. And so, you know, I paired these together and then popped on a black belt and some black shoes, some stra st strappy sandals to keep it, you know, spring and light and cool uh, with this trench coat. And it is a little bit of a shorter one, which is nice uh, for spring as well. And I just think that this would be a great look if you were uh, needing a jacket in the evening or are visiting a cooler city, maybe somewhere that's pretty windy and wanted to look stylish, but um, needed to stay warm as well. So another great spring look with a black trench coat. <laughs> and another classic uh, white denim and a striped tank. And this is another classic spring staple. And so I wanted to pair a comfy shoe. So I went with my white loafers, which are just, I could walk all day in them. And I think the loafer is a great comfy shoe to wear that really dresses up an outfit. So even though we have some casual denim, which I love white denim in the spring and summer, and then the striped top. And so an all white look with just, you know, a little bit of the stripes is so beautiful. And this navy, like in the last example, uh, you can only tell that it's navy if you're really close. Otherwise it could be navy, it could be black. I actually uh, was visiting my sister yesterday and she was wearing a navy uh, camisole. And I was like, is that navy or black? <laughs> like. Uh, maybe it's just my eyes, but <laughs> I think unless you are really close or the sun's hitting it, it, it is sometimes hard to tell if, uh, especially if you have a, you know, really beautiful deep navy color. So um, I think that the jacket pairs really nicely, whether it is navy or looking like black stripes, either way it looks great. And then to keep it all springy, uh, paired it with my big yellow purse. And this outfit would look great with or without the trench coat. So, but um, I do, again, think the black trench coat adds an extra layer of elegance to this, you know, normally casual everyday spring outfit. And for the next outfit, I wanted to do something with a little more color. And so I opted for a red halter tank top and my red strappy sandals. Uh, paired that with my white denim pants and a black belt to pull in the black trench coat and a black purse. And so I think that this outfit would be great if you were going to a friend's birthday party or out to dinner with the girls. Whenever you have a bright color with black and white, it always pops, it always looks you know, classy and elegant. And so this is a great way to take a casual, you know, denim and tank top outfit and really make it look uh, evening ready. Okay, and now on to the fourth trench coat. And I don't like to say I have a favorite trench coat because I have several and I love all of them for different reasons, but, <laughs> I think at the end of the year or beginning of this year, I picked up the silk trench coats, coats, I'll say coats because I got both, <laughs> from Lily Silk. I had originally um, intended on getting them, I got them in different sizes. I was gonna try them on and keep my favorite, but I loved both. So I ended up keeping both. They are in different sizes. So I do go into review and depth, you know, an in-depth description in my uh, trench coat haul 
video, so I'll link that if you wanna take a look at that. And so for the first outfit with the silk trench coat, I, I think I went with a pretty classic and basic outfit, but the colors and pieces elevate the whole thing. So some dark wash denim jeans, and then because you know uh, metallics are trending this year and I love gold, I did pick up this gold metallic uh, tank top, which can be dressed up or dressed down. And I think I got this at Anthropology. I love the kind of blousiness down here, so very forgiving. Um, and then the, the V-neck is beautiful, so you, know, you can wear it a little lower or pull it up a little bit. Uh, to give you know a more sexy feeling if you're going to an evening event and so I paired this with my kitten heel gold sandals and uh, you know just my normal little black purse with the silk black trench and you know this is just a great outfit for a girl's night out or a date night in a warmer spring evening or if you just want to look really uh, you know, stylish and, uh, you know, trendy, <laughs> walking around, shopping for the day. A really beautiful way to take some everyday pieces and make them work in a casual setting, but also could work for a more elevated setting as well. And another one of my favorite colors for spring is the ecru or cream colored family of colors and so for this next look i popped on one of my favorite knit uh, tank tops with some ecru denim pants uh, that i had and coat so this is a stylish way to kind of i guess reverse look the uh, cream color and black uh, normally, you know, you would have a kind of a light tan um, trench coat and then all black in the fall and, and winter, but this is kind of the opposite of that. So you have the lighter colors underneath and the dark trench on top. And I just think that this really uh, makes the cream colored monotone outfit stand out and pop and the whole thing just looks elevated and perfect for spring. For this last look, I wanted to do an elevated look for the uh, silk black trench coat. So I went with my navy uh, trousers and a white satin camisole. And this one I love because it is a neutral white, so it's not real cool, not real warm, uh, just a true white, which goes great with my white loafers. And I think this is a great look if you're gonna go antiquing or go to a baby shower, or if you need to pop into the office, um, just a real sophisticated look. And then the uh, trench coat is lightweight, adds an, another layer and goes great with the navy and white. And I just think this is a beautiful look if you need to look a little more put together or professional on a spring day. So hopefully you have some pieces similar to this and this gives you some inspiration on how you can uh, pair some items together. I really just enjoy using basic and timeless classic pieces and kind of uh, mixing and matching them together with different colors and different textures um, and with pieces that you might not expect like a black trench coat for spring and i think that you know when you're one of the only ones wearing it like that it already just looks more stylish and stand out ish and sometimes you need a darker jacket you know depending on where you're going sometimes the lighter jacket won't do or you know it does give a completely different vibe and look as well and what do you think about black trench coats for spring? Have I inspired you to come up with some own looks with some looks for yourself or are you a no way not doing a black trench coat for spring? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below.
And ladies, thank you so much for dropping in. I do appreciate you spending some time with me. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and subscribe. I have a lot more ideas and videos on the way. That way you will be notified when I put out a new video. And again, thanks for dropping by and have a great day.